I'm hoping that this Chromebook will help me see clearly. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I use a variety of laptops, but one of the things that I do like about Chromebooks is that they are super easy to use, usually very quiet, usually last a long time on a single charge on their battery, and they are quick to boot up, so you can just put one on your lap while you're watching TV, respond to email, surf the web. Now, this Chromebook right here, this is by Asus, and this is the C433. I'm not sure that I like the numbering convention but it probably works all right and i wanted to pick this up because this chromebook has a feature that i have not had on any of my chromebooks prior look at that isn't that nice oh so nice so first of all let's go to this over here this looks like a box looks like there's some stuff in here so what we get is a charging brick looks like your standard asus charging brick and then we have a usb-c or thunderbolt type of connector there so the cool thing about this is yes it does come with the cable but if you just have a charging brick itself and usb-c cable you should be able to use that now here is the laptop itself i believe this is a 14 inch chromebook and just some paperwork and stuff in here but that is it also comes in this little fabric sleeve and here is the chromebook now i will say it's actually fairly nice looking it's actually got a nice quality look to it it actually even has like this chamfered edge kind of like the iphone 5 so this polished little beveled edge here and then kind of this bead blasted finish here i mean it's kind of like a light blue silver i mean i would say it's like 70 percent silver with a hint of light blue but really nice looking actually the funny thing is when asus came on the scene with their laptops they were kind of making these premium looking laptops in fact they looked a lot like metal macbook airs you know so it's not surprising to see that but i think it is a little surprising to see this type of finishing construction on a chromebook in this price point because normally they're just you know a decent plastic and the metal finish goes all the way to the bottom here too so we do have little round silicone feet you can see the little openings there i'm not sure if those are for speakers but we even have the little exposed screws so very apple macbook air ish and what you can see here is the hinge goes all the way to the top to bottom it's not just attached to the top it's attached to both like a band and that's because this is really a two-in-one so this will fold all the way back i do want to show you here you do have a little opening so i can open it like this now i will say the nice thing about the macbook airs is that the resistance on the hinge is overcome by the weight of the computer but this has more resistance than weight so you do have to kind of use two hands to open this up maybe that'll wear in a little bit over time nice little protector there but you can see big flat panel you can see the rest of my stuff you can actually see the webcam cutout right up there as well it is a very shiny screen so mirror like you will not get an anti-glare screen with this but i think that's okay although i kind of prefer it because i think this is a touch screen as well so if it would resist fingerprints a little bit better but that's actually kind of important because i think when you put anti-glare in there you get a little bit not lower resolution but it's a little harder to see what's on the screen it obscures it just a little bit but here are those hinges and now what you can see here is hopefully i don't break this thing you can see how they move all the way back and now i basically have like a chromebook tablet so this will be nice if you're sitting on your couch and you want to surf the web respond to stuff maybe you want to carry it around and do some work maybe you're taking notes you know you're using this for work and then here is the keyboard and kind of looks a little funny with the screen pulled all the way back there but the keys are also painted in a finish that really matches the metallic chassis here and then we have a fairly large trackpad right there and again everything is really well color matched that's pretty nice so i think this might be a backlight keyboard here too core m3 processor so a mobile processor here but what's really important about this is the screen itself and that is because i have not had a high res screen on a chromebook before most of the ones i have bought are pretty low rent and so they have i think on my last one and that was the highest i had and it was you know like 500 something pixels tall so there's a little lock button right there and i think that's the power button so i'm just going to hold that down here and before we turn this on i just want to show you it looks like we get uh that thunderbolt usb-c there usb 
port right there headphone jack right there looks like this is actually a volume rocker and then i think the power button is right there looks like we also get maybe a little speaker grill there so not sure if that's for a speaker or cooling and then on this side we have another grill right there and then it looks like this is an sd card slot maybe and then another USB C thunderbolt port right there so i think to turn this little guy on i'm just going to open it up like this and then hit this button and it also makes sense that the button for the power is on the side because if you're using this in something like a tablet mode then you always have access to that button you don't have to flip it over and look for that so there it is it's coming alive right now all right so i have been using this asus chromebook here for the last few days and i thought i would give you some of my thoughts some of the things that i really like and some of the things that could be better now first of all i just want to tell you that the cool thing about this is as I mentioned earlier, is it just looks premium. This kind of reminds me of when Google made their Pixel Chromebooks and they were metal and they're really cool. Now, one of the things that I noticed here is that if I fold this all the way back into a tablet, it was just kind of nice sitting around on the couch and having this thing in portrait mode and reading emails and things like that. Stuff that I don't really have to interact with, but if I'm reading, you know, a document, something like that, it's really a lot easier on this when it's in portrait mode. And when you're sitting on the couch, you didn't have to worry about it. I will also say that when it's folded back like this, the keyboard does not seem to be active. So somehow they have disengaged the keyboard because obviously you're going to hit these buttons quite a bit when you are using it in tablet mode. But it's really cool actually just to sit on your couch, in your bed, those types of things, and be able to use this. So that's kind of a nice feature that is not available on most Chromebooks. I feel like it's really formal when you have it set up like a laptop in your lap. Now, the big thing that I like about this, before we get into the things that I hate, is the screen itself. So the resolution on this guy is really, really good. And what I love about that is that it's 1080p by 2100p across the bottom. So I think they call that 4K for whatever reason. Now, I have noticed that most only have 800 to 500 pixels on this side. And so what you get is kind of that blocky, visibly pixelated screen. And on this, you can't really see it. Things look very smooth, especially fonts. And so what that allows me to do is shrink the display. So for example, I'm here in the YouTube studio. I actually have this set to 80% resolution and you might be able to see there, I can read everything just fine. You know, the letters don't get all crunchy. And obviously you can raise this up. But one of the things that has been a problem for me in Chromebooks of the past is that the resolution just isn't there. So when you shrink it to try to get more stuff in there, kind of like you would on any other laptop, it just becomes unreadable. Now, I won't say that this is like a retina display. If you get something like the most recent MacBook Air or even a full-on laptop, the resolutions of some of those are just tremendous. And uh, this screen isn't like a retina display but it's pretty darn good and in something like this where you get an awesome amount of battery life it's pretty awesome i do want to show you here that it does have an accelerometer in there just in case you were wondering so when you're using it in tablet mode like this you don't have to worry about the orientation okay so the screen is really the big reason that i got this and i really really like it now that means that this is my go-to chromebook of choice because the screen i can shrink it down and still stay very productive all right on to some of the things that i don't like about this and the first thing i want want to show you here is that these keyboards are actually really great the good thing about this is it's backlit so in low light or dark rooms i can actually continue to use this the problem with this is that in well-lit rooms it's actually fairly hard to see if you're looking straight down on the keys you can kind of see them because the letters on the keys are kind of punched out i guess they're kind of clear or translucent and then the key is painted around it so looking straight down on it it's not that hard to see but if you rotate this around and especially when you are are kind of looking at it like this kind of on kind of directionally at the keyboard it's actually not that easy to see and i would say in really bright light it's not a problem it kind of highlights the little punched out areas a little bit better but in kind of a normally lit room maybe just slightly dimmer than normally lit you know kind of like an office or or a classroom or your living room it's actually really hard to see what those letters are all right so it's actually almost better if it's super well lit or if it's really dark, because then the super well lit, you can see the keys, or in the super dark, they're backlit, but in a, kind of like a medium lit room, especially when they are backlit, it's actually kind of hard to see. The other thing I want to mention here is I love the fact that I can charge this on USB-C here, but I will say that for whatever reason, they are really grippy. When you take a USB-C plug like this and put it in here, it usually has a little bit of grab, kind of clicks in there, 
but on this one it really sticks in there and so i've kind of noticed that i kind of have to rip it out now i think after 10 20 times it's probably going to smooth that up a little bit but for some reason this is really really grabby and not a big deal but it'll probably wear in the last thing I like about this is that it actually gives me an opportunity to use this in a way that I wasn't expecting. So because the battery life is actually really good, I guess the Core M processor, it's kind of a mobile processor, I'm guessing. I don't know. I didn't really have any problems using this thing pretty much all day. I kind of use it in the evening when I'm sitting around on the couch in front of the TV, in my bed, those types of things, and it never really ran down on charge, even when I was watching YouTube videos, which was just fine. But what this does do is it allows me to kind of do the tent thing like this and set it up now this is important because i was actually at a trade show and i just used my laptop like this i set it up and i was running some video about products and the company and things like that but it just looks like a laptop standing there but if i had put this up it almost looks like a standalone screen because it's kind of this tent stand up here and it can run your videos connect to the internet download a video on there and because the processor doesn't draw a lot of charge it can run a very long time so something like this will actually be a companion with me on my next business trips too so between the nice construction the touch screen the fact that i can use this as a tablet the fact that it runs a super long time this is definitely the chromebook that i will be using however it is not without its faults the keyboard works and if you're looking for a back like keyboard this is great but if you're looking for a keyboard that is easy to read in kind of your average light situations this one actually leaves something to be desired but it's a small trade-off i think given all of the other high quality and really innovative features that you get at a really good price point the other thing that i love about this is that this chromebook was not that much more expensive than any other chromebook and so a lot of them aren't the two-in-one folding chromebooks like this and so if you want to pick up a chromebook that has pretty much all the features that i could think that you could cram into something like this i think this is the one you want to get so i will put a link to this guy in the description below because so far i'm really loving it peter von panda out we can risk up more and explore so much deeper we can live better than ever things to peter peter von panda